And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Golgari Stompy in the competitive medic game challenge. We did a couple of, we played a couple of decks in the competitive meta game challenge yesterday, and it turns out today is the last day for this special format. Um, I don't know why it was only a two-day thing. I thought it was going to be weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but I guess it's just Friday, Saturday. So we're going to have four decks that we're going to try out over here in the competitive metagame challenge, see if we can win a whole lot of packs. Um, as you can see, those are going to be the four decks we're going to try on the left. I'm going to going to go ahead and redo Teamer Elementals from yesterday, adding in the Hydroid Crasises, as we talked about at the end of uh, that league yesterday. So our first deck that we're playing here is Golgari Stompy, no nonsense. Um, we got basically Vivian Tribal, or as, as we also call it, we got all the Vivians in here. Uh, since last time I had two of these Vivians, two Vivian Reeds, and cutting this down to one and adding in another Vivian Champion of the Wilds. Uh, really like the, the instant speed that Champion of the Wilds allows us to play, especially with less three mana Teferis running around. So I'm, I'm going to get a third one of these in. The other thing is we had um, we had Kral Harpooners main deck to try to fight Mono Blue, but maybe Mono Blue is not that big, so I'm moving those over to to Thorn Lieutenants here instead, and we'll kind of see how the Thorn Lieutenants do. Uh, then I push the Kral Harpooners to the sideboard um, there. Um, that's that's basically our deck. I mean, we're we're trying to go turn one Lanor off, turn two Register Alpha or Steel Leaf Champion. And then turn three, Vivian Arcbow Ranger, start putting some counters on these already big creatures, make them even bigger, and give them trample and run people over. That's kind of the goal. Um, Knight of the Ebon Legion is pretty good. I'm worried about, like, basically, I don't think we're going to cast Knight of the Ebon Legion on turn one, like, basically ever. But maybe, maybe Knight of the Ebon Legion still stronger than Thorn Lieutenant? It allows you to double spell easy, easier. No, probably not. I think, you know, being able to play like turn two Thorn Lieutenant is pretty nice. Yeah, they both have like the activated ability that makes them bigger. Knight of the Ebon Legions is just so cheap. Um, it's a pretty good card. I think if we weren't playing Steel Leaf Champion and if you wanted to go more splitting green and black kind of down the middle and not have it mostly mono green because of Steel Leaf Champion, then I think... Knight of the Ebon Legion absolutely would want to play that. Um, yeah, I've played I played lots of different Dracu Seth Revivals decks. We've gone with Sultai, Grixis, uh, Mardu. Um, yeah, we've we've gone a bunch of them. Honestly, just check out check out the the videos on the YouTube channel there and look for any of them that say Reanimator. That's a that's a Dracu Seth deck see like grixis reanimator sultai reanimator all right let's let's get to it so we're gonna have the competitive metagame challenge 2000 gold i'm starting with 10,000. hopefully we don't run out of gold and golgari stompy will be our first one i guess i should have talked about how this event kind of works basically and eh, cancel never works Basically, if we lose one time, we're out. We're eliminated. And, you know, we can rejoin the event. But if we lose lose one time, we're done. But there's a lot of uh, big payoffs for getting a lot of wins. Uh, yesterday, we couldn't get past the two-win mark. You know, we'd be 2-0. Uh, I think we went four leagues in a row where we won two. And then we lost our last one. Or, that, yeah, th then we lost that two wins. So hopefully we can get past the two wins today. Um, I haven't really made an Orzhov mid-range with M20 yet. Uh, we have the Orzhov Vampires that we're going to be playing up after this. But I haven't really made a, a mid-range deck with it yet. A pretty good opener. What's up, 619? Uh, 
All right, so next turn we'll probably just go Growth Chamber Guardian put Overgrown Tomb and tapped. That's my plan. Plans have a way of changing, though. Thanks, MG Watt. Thank you. All right, so do I minus and kill the Risen Reef? Or do I tick up? I think I'm going to just tick up and try to kill them. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. I'd get out of the way if I were you. They can't... Uh, Steel Leaf Champion can't be blocked by creatures power two or less, so they can't even chump block Steel Leaf Champion if they want. This thing hits hard. Seven, six. <laughs> Next turn it'll be a, a nine, eight. No fooling around with Steel Leaf Champion. The old SLC. I mean, it's... I mean, I guess the champion is that elf there that's that's riding this Kavu. But you wouldn't think that elf is a 5-4. I guess the elf plus Kavu combination is a 5-4. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I'm not this I'm not putting a yeah, the the land where I'm gonna be using it for mana. I'm not really gonna be attacking, especially like with an O3. I'm just dangerous enemy. going big with the Steel Leaf Champion. Um Guess we're going both of these. Uh, sure. This will give me three lethal attackers next we're turn. Fit enough to survive. Because they're down to four, so not only do they have to do something about the Steel Leaf Champion. But then the Growth Chamber Guardian, we can adapt it to be a 4-4, so that would be a lethal attacker. The Thorn Lieutenant, we could, we'll could we have 6 mana next turn, so we can pump it to make it a 4-4. Or to make it a 6-7, sorry. So they have a lot of work in, ahead of them. Well, that's not going to do it. None of 1-1s one can't block a 9-8. Or can't block the Steel Leaf Champion, so... Boom. All right, Masker Girl. Chupacabra. Legion Zen just gets their mana creatures. Probably just these two. I could see Command the Dread Horde being pretty nice in this matchup. Yeah, maybe we want Command. If I bring in Command, though, what am I cutting? Am I cutting Vivian Reed for Command the Dread Horde? reasonable they don't really have fly they don't like the minus here you know like they don't really have artifacts enchantments or creatures with flying i guess they could have crisis i suppose they could have crisis but we got troops galt is rare just rare not mythic
Yeah, there's a chance they have Entrancing Melody or Mass Manipulation. I'm not really expecting it, but there's a chance. It's it's nice that we're up a game and we don't have to be super worried about it by like bringing in Veil of Summers in case they do because we you know we can kind of see this game. We don't have to. We can kind of play another game straight up and and just try to get through enough damage before they would draw those cards if they're even in their deck. Yeah, shifting Ceratops would definitely be pretty good in the sideboard. There's just a lot of good options for the sideboard, though. Honestly. Like, between green and black, there's a lot of good sideboard cards. Couldn't fit everything. Oh, I, I probably should be Vivian Avatar, shouldn't I? Tried to change the avatar. We were the Eternal Army last night. We had the Eternal Kitty to go along with the Eternal Army. Yeah, we need some lands. They don't have blue mana, so no Risen Reef. That's good. There's a land. So do I want to just go Rotting Regisaur to start with? That would make Galta cost uh, five. Maybe I just go Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. And then fl flash in the Rotting Dinosaur. Hell to lose to you. you know, we've seen Shock, Lightning Strike, cards like that. Don't want to minus Vivian like right away and have them rat. kill Vivian. Definitely sitting on more burn spells. We'll see if they have the triple one one card. Well, PW and I think different people play different cards. Like last last game they had Lightning Strike and now they have Shock. You know, like they have so they have those kind of cards. Lightning Strike Shock. Basically You don't you don't wanna You know how you say like there is they play Coil, Omnath, and Chandra Six as the only removal. You don't want to pigeonhole yourself into thinking that they can't have other cards and that everybody plays the same seventy five and stuff like that. Cause yeah, last, game one they had lightning strike. This, here they've shown shock. They they likely have another burn spell for how they have here. Just basically always keep your mind open to cards they could they could have they could be playing. I think our opponent may be not so happy about what's going to happen here. It's like Rotting Registor is also Chupacabra. Okay, well that was Wait, you the only card I could actually play. Kind? I was definitely just hoping... I was definitely hoping just to draw the land to go straight to Vivian. I, wouldn't, I didn't want to take a turn to play Paradise Druid, which is why I discarded it. Hey, heroes, welcome.
Um, so do I want to play Vivian this turn, make this a 9-8 Trample, or flash in Galta? I guess I just flash in Galta. Starting over is the only way. And then just like have, you know, uh, 21 trample damage next turn. Maybe catch them off guard. If need be, I guess, I suppose I could play the choop. Hey, like a Zoe. Yeah, we're going to be playing two Reef decks today. Ourselves, the last two, Sultai and Teamer. are lessons written in skin. I think we're going to have this. I don't think there really are uh, top three decks right now, Jackinator. Ah, not again. I don't have spell pierce. All right. Yeah, not not sure if anybody ever expects the flash galta. The flat like whenever I just have three mana and I'm passing and flashing in a seven six to block the five four haste. That was really nice. But yeah, as far as like what are the top three decks of this right now, the format, I don't, I don't know. Hey, Nitty Rat. Uh, we could try this. Isn't the bestest. <laughs> don't you hate it when you're minding your own business? Then a dinosaur crashes into your living room. Speaking of dinosaurs, our opponent's definitely playing dinosaurs, right? These sleeves? Definitely. lead with the steel leaf here because I don't want to just start discarding immediately because I want to keep on hitting land drops towards Vivian Reed
Don't really want to see Rekindling Phoenix. Don't really want to see Domri's Ambush. Don't really want to see any cards, to be honest. I don't like that one. You want our style? You got it. <laughs> I've had it, boys. I really don't like that one. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Looking for Chupacabra. You know, that's that's about the best card I can possibly find right now to get rid of Galta. Our opponent out. Yeah. They're out stomping us. No, we don't have any cast downs. Galta's legendary and doesn't die to cast down to start with, but no, we don't have any anyway. We have we have some Chupacabras that maybe we could find. The The problem, of course, is the Domri doing the fighting stuff. That's, of course, a problem. Ravnica deserves its demise. My best block save leaves me at one and not able to stabilize. Hmm. Don't know if Masker Girl is actually going to kill stuff. Lot of creatures that are bigger than what Legion's End does. I'll try the Legion's Ends, though. Cut a small Vivian at Thorn Lieutenant. The, the big Vivian was definitely out. You know, like, that's just not a, a matchup for big Vivian either for the Chupacabra. But I wish I had... kind of wish I had, like, Assassin's Trophies or things like that for this matchup. This is just not... Not really a matchup that I'm expecting or anything like that. You know, like... I haven't really needed Assassin's Trophy with this deck, but this would be a matchup where I would like to have it. I'm not really expecting decks to go bigger than me. <laughs> have bigger creatures.
Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. This will be fun to watch. So we're going to just play some, some defense behind this Vivian. Just keep on taking up this Vivian. Making these things real big. You know, next turn, we'll double spell with these. And everything. I'm not expecting them to have hard removal. You know, I think their only removal is going to be like damage base. So if we have much bigger creatures, we can just kind of keep on making them bigger and bigger and overwhelm them. The Paradise Druid checks the Harpooner. My, my, how you've grown. Trading the Riptar Raptor for one Spellbreaker. Not what I want to be doing. We got seven toughness across the board. Good number to have. What a glorious day for Savannah. Busting heads is my bread and butter. Gonna tear Hello, you apart. Dude. They're just taking the rest. I think we'll have this one. I have to send two creatures over at Vivian to kill Vivian. Means they have to double chump block here. I will not go extinct. Not sure if I, I probably I probably should not have attacked with the Ripjaw Raptor. My previous turn. Yeah, I guess Spellbreaker was enough for that trample, but just got the Pell Collector out of there before it grew. Late sevens are real big. Alright, let's give this a, give this a try.
I mean, if if we had black mana, this hand wouldn't be so bad of like curving Lieutenant into Reggie into Vivian kind of thing. And I do like Chupacabra, but of course, that that's the problem with Rotting Register. Playing it on turn three means you discard like these other cards because you kind of have to not play it on turn three. I'm gonna mulligan this. There's just too much of a chance that we don't draw black mana and we can't do anything with these cards. Gosh. I'm getting rid of Growth Chamber Guardian. It's just whether or not I'm going to get rid of Llanowar Elf. Or Galta. I could get rid of Llanowar Elf and just go Temple turn 1, Paradise Druid on turn 2. Because like this is the kind of card that can win the game, you know? I think I get rid of Llanowar Elf. Yeah, there's just one Galta in the deck. Yeah. Don't love our chances here. Mm. If we would have drawn a land, it would keep this on top, but we didn't draw the land. It's like our best card, and I have to ship it to the bottom. It's very unfortunate. But especially drawing another four drop, we couldn't we just couldn't keep it on top. Come on, land. Okay, here we go. Hey, Doctor K. Hey, <laughs> Doctor Delunger. Yeah, happy Catter Day. I was hoping for like no Domries or anything that kills my, you know, removal spell like that. <sighs> That's a good card. That's a good card. Should probably play Galta first though. not so bad. I see Domri's ambush of like them making their Galta 13-13 and killing my Galta. I was going to be real sad. Close your eyes. Breathe. And listen to the sounds of the wild. Watch out. They bite. Chomp. How could this go wrong if I attack? So if I attack, I'm like trading for a Pelt Collector and Nullhide Ferox. If they don't block, they could kill my Vivian, but then they're at eight and I have a Galta and another Vivian. 
I don't really see how this could go bad attacking. You know, just, just trading for 10 power, but again, we have... That's, that's the worst card. Get that out of here. We have two Ripjaws and a Vivian. Stomping time. Yeah, Vivian's awesome. So the Ripjaw is a 6 7 trampler now. I'm playing R Rotting Registor here. Question basically is. Do I want to play Llanowar Elf with the Paradise Druid? Or just discard Llanowar Elf to Rotting, Rotting Registor? I don't think I'm just going to discard it. Oh wait, I'm not going to be able to kill the Nullhide Ferox. So I could kill Gruul Spellbreaker. I'd get out of the way if I were you. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will. So this survive. just forces them to chump. So we're gonna attack for 15 trample. With my aim, so they just have to jump one of them. You're done. All right. We out Dino the Dino deck. I guess there theirs wasn't really Dino. They were they were also Stompy. But Golgari Stompy, bigger than Gruel Stompy. Yeah, we were on the mold of five. Yeah. That's true. It's a good part of the London Mulgan roll, though. You have still have good hands on your sixes and fives and stuff. Yeah, I built this deck once again. Yes, we can do it, Storm. We can break we can break the two win curse. It's a new day. It's a new day today. It's one of the best things God ever created. It was a new day. We're going to do it. Mold of five on the draw. Arcbo Ranger, of course, was just the star of that last game. Yesterday, we went, like, four... Like four leagues in a row, like our last four leagues, like every single one was just uh, was two wins. Like we got two wins and then lost, two wins, then lost, two wins, then lost. Every single time.
All right, we'll see how we stomp against Esper. Close your eyes, breathe, and listen to the sounds of the water. We're fit enough to survive. My, my, how you've grown. Yeah, you can find all the decks um, here on the Stream Decker page, or if you want this specific deck, you can get it there. So yeah, those are some links. Exclamation point decks. And oh, deck. I've done the hero thing before. I'm gonna love holding mm, this. That's really unfortunate. So they didn't attack with the guard mage. They wanting to chump. All right, I think they have command the dread horde. Yeah, they definitely have command the dread horde. Um, what do I do against command the dread horde? So they're gonna get steel leaf, land war elf. Guard Mage into Fairy. It's pretty nice. Yeah, Naya Feather is, is good. Hmm, I guess they missed Here their land drop. Go. Oh, what a great card. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. This will be fun to watch. So if I if I put the growth chamber the counter on the growth chamber guardian, I'd be able to put the growth chamber guardian into my hand, but putting it into my hand isn't very valuable whenever I have rotting registor making me discard a card. I could have just made it a 3-3, I guess, but trying to make this thing super big and kill them but i guess i guess yeah because now they have they get to fairy to talk rotting register but that's not going to save them they only have seven i know yeah, they're gonna have to do this open mind. yeah they're dead vivian was perfect that trample to kill them before they they're about to command the dread horde that was perfect. All right, so of course this is definitely a matchup for us, Dread Hoarding, and we want to be Veil and Duress. 
Uh, Massacre Girl is good if they go crazy with Hero. This is a matchup where I actually take out Rotting Regisaur because the card disadvantage is rough. Um, do I want to take out Choops? It's 24 creatures right now. I need to cut at least once. Uh, I got to take out Galta. Again, decks where they, they are killing your creatures. You don't want Galta. Probably going to have to take out a Champion of the Wilds. Just because my creature count's getting too low where the minus two ability is going to whiff too often. No, Thorn Lieutenant's great. I like, like Thorn Lieutenant. Um... Maybe I don't play six of these. Maybe I don't play three duress, three veil. Hero can go crazy, but I don't really want Masker Girl in my deck that they command the Dread Horde back and wreck me with the Masker Girl kind of thing. I guess I'm just going to take out an Arc Bow Ranger. I don't really want to cut a creature. I think Duress is better than Veil vale here because of Little Teferi. Like, there's going to be times with the, when they have Little Teferi in play that we can't actually play Veil. Vale, and it's just a dead card in our hand. That's happened to me a decent amount of times against Esper. So I, I could see cutting a Veil. Vale. Just realized we had our basic swamp. And Yeah, Villert, yeah. It'd probably yeah, regular old Golgari would probably be probably be just fine. Um How do you tell if your curve is too high? Let's try this. That's a good question. Do I have just a spark here? Okay, if if you're looking at your deck on arena. Wait, my opponent took Veil of Summer with the Thought Erasure? They t took a card I, that I... that just doesn't do anything? So that's just been a, a really awkward hand and everything. Maybe I should have just gone to five. Anyway, if you go go to the deck viewer for right, your um, your curve, it tells you what your curve is, or it tells you your app. Sorry, it tells you your average CMC. If you click on like your deck description, it tells you your average CMC. You really don't want that to be. You want to be be kind of around three. You don't really want that much higher. If you have like mana creatures and stuff, it could be higher. Um, if you have more ways to get mana out. 
but if your curve is like four, you're at, that's that's gonna be too high. Close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the wild. I suppose that's how Watch it was out. meant to happen. They bite. Hey, Matthew. We're fit enough to survive. Expels are, yeah, expels are just counted as zero. So yeah, you'd have to kind of adjust there. Trust me, you'll thank me later. This will be fun to watch. I really hope we draw our Command the Dread Horde. That'd be nice. Boo. Ah, time to disappear into the brush. Boo. Trading Growth Chamber Guardian for Hostage Shaker is just not an attack I want to make because I don't want to put Hostage Shaker in their graveyard for their Command the Dread Horde. Pretty sure we're dead here. Am I supposed to be playing Legion's End because of Hero Precinct 1? That's unfortunate. Kind of relying on that Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah, I mean, it's all about if we draw Command the Dread Horde or not. If if not, we're, we're going to be losing this. That was really bad by me. 
I just kind of instinctively played that temple right away, but I should be playing this growth chamber guardian and activating it first. No time for a break. Well, at least we wouldn't have got the scry value anyway. Activate that first in case, you know, in case they would have milled over the growth chamber guard. You know, we got to grab it before they mill it over kind of thing. All right, 1 in 35 chance. Here's the command. Nope. You know what? I'm not done yet. Cool. Four really bad draw steps there. Yeah, I did keep the chupacabras in. Yeah, yeah, you can't just let Teferi activate so so much. Ugh. All right, let's get this other Chupacabra in. Other Vivian, we need need more removal. Well, Summer's fine, but again, it's not perfect. We saw that game, us not being able to cast it because of three mana to fairy. All right, game three. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get to the third win or not.
Yeah, that was a pretty clutch land all for us. I get to kill Growth Chamber Guardian, but I get Vivian Arcbow Ranger. That was a great hand for them. Double Thought Erasure, Oath, Hostage Taker, Teferi. Like, that's just a great hand. Oh, I should just be playing the Swamp. Oh, I wanted I to play the card they don't know about, but I should probably just be playing the Swamp. I guess we're not, we're not going to really have to discard a card, though. Enough to survive. We should be good. Come on, deck, draw spells. Draw a spell. Come on, deck. Come on. I mean, I can go grab a Rotting Regisaur. I could just sacrifice the Arc Ranger to get a, a Rotting Regisaur. I don't think that's a very good idea. I could grab Ripjaw Raptor. Again, just aren't very good ideas against Big Teferi. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's take it back. No, there wasn't. No, I put all all the Chupacabras are in the deck. So now there wasn't a Chupacabra in the sideboard. That would've been better. We need to move quickly. Steel Leaf's a good draw. Never mind. Yeah, their hand was loaded. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Probably taking no up, of course, is the, the, wilds like I do. the Ranger, but. Keep up the pace. Ah. I'm a survivor. Vivian Arcbow Ranger is the farthest thing from unimpressive. Card is incredibly good. Come to me. Skip to the good part. You can't stop nature. Four, eight. Close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the wild. My, my, how you've grown. We just gotta hope they don't have Command the Dread Horde. That's the biggest thing right now. Time. 
Time for plan B. Please don't have command the Dread Horde. We need to move quickly. And this would be an amazing comeback if we could actually come back and win this. <laughs> You're lower than worms. Let's slow this down. This might be a bad idea. Meet my newest friend. No, no. Tear you apart. It's unfortunate. I kind of wish I would have chomped with the Chubacabra. I have two more loyalty on the Arqua Ranger right now. We just got got to get rid of Big Teferi. We just have to. Can't let them keep drawing two cards a turn. Ugh. Either Wrath or Command the Dread Horde. One of the two. Either one, I'm pretty screwed. are my shield. If only Veil of Summer did something. Fortunately, it doesn't. Well, Wrath, Wrath was definitely a lot better for me than Command the Dread Horde would have been. Veil Summer is actually kind of nice here where if they if they go to Fairy Minus. Oh, come on. Ugh. Dang it. If you show remorse, time is much more malleable than people think. So if they, if they would have minus their other Teferi to bounce Ripjaw Raptor and attack in, you know, if they would have just drawn a land, if they had to try to do that to for the Vivian, like their their Teferi would have been gone and my Veil of Summer would have been turned on. Ugh. 
and that big Teferi was such a great draw. We're about to ultimate that Vivian. Would you like to see what's left? The wilds are my shield. We're still doing okay. Hold that thought. Oh, what a crazy game this has been. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Just kind of see if they have a, a spell they play first. Thorny Tent's finally dead. Definitely was considering, you know, killing that Othakaya for the longest time. Ooh. I've seen squirrels hit harder. Meet my newest friend. No. All my good cards going down to the bottom. time will tell yeah I, I can't double pump and have the summer available one of their plan is like double Othakaya to try to kill me So that's eight, so that we can turn this into ten, so ten, yeah. This game. We did it. Three wins. What a game. Got it. 
Vivian Reed was incredible there. GG's. With Rob Schneider's daughter singing America Sweetheart here for our victory music. All right, three wins. So that gets us our, our gold back plus three packs. If we can win another one, we get another two packs and 500 gold. So that's the that's the amount for break even in gold, but just going with two wins, you you're like technically up on prizes because you get you have you get 500 less gold than your entry, but you get a pack, which packs are usually cost a thousand gold. I think on the draw, I'd, I'd probably mulligan this, being a little slow, but on the play, I'm gonna keep it. And between our. Um, you know, we had, we had two looks here, but like between the, the regular look and the temple to look for something to do on turn two, which is not that. So temple's really nice there. Yeah, it's a, yeah. This this weekend, this is our my first three win deck so far. Hello. Yesterday we just got so many of the two wins. I've done better in previous events, but just not. Today, let's, let's just go aggro with the Arcbow Ranger. The recent Bant decks that we've been seeing have been like the Scape Shift decks. And that's what this looks like it is. So I don't want to just sit back and take my time against the Scape Shift deck. Certainly hoping that we don't get Spell Pierce like we did that other time against... We got our Arc Bow Ranger Spell Pierce in, unison with the in Game 3 against Scape Shift deck the last time I played it. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Boo. Uh, what's my sideboard? Nothing good right now. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Have you ever lost a home? So I could play Llanowar Elf right now and put two counters on Llanowar Elf. Or I go grab Rotting Regisaur and play that next turn. It's probably worth this. What do you suggest I do? I hate Simic Flash counter spells Mind with a passion, but for some reason I am finding it fun to play. Like Feel dirty wind. inside. What is a remedy survive. for feeling dirty Let's like see. that? Hone your prowess. Eh, those cards weren't any good. Uh, basically just All find begin and all right so you should just be finding the good and you know other things that you're doing and everything and if you don't like I won't forget our time you picked the if you don't fight you know if you're having fun with the simic flash deck you know just embrace that and you know just realize the good in it and everything That's it. Uh, I suppose I gotta play this first. This isn't a fight you can win. Not with that attitude. Trust me, I have a plan. No, you don't need hate. <laughs> don't need that. Um. Hmm.
We're fit enough to survive. Strike now! Strike hard! Probably should have just gone to attacks first before activating the Arc Bow Ranger. Here we go. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Oh, darn. That's really unfortunate. You know, tapped out just going for the win, thinking that maybe they just had emergency powers. Uh. Let's try this. Yes, yeah, Teferi's been rough. Hey, Royal Flush, doing good. Why am I playing Growth Chamber Guardian first before doing this? So they just had like another wrath. They just respawned. I just got my Growth Chamber Guardian killed for kind of no reason. Forgot to say no to Mate less than you. Getting aboard that hype boat. Our second sub of the day. Thank you so much, tomatoes. I know my responsibility. Trust me, I have a plan. They're certainly trying to wait on casting this emergency powers. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. I follow the mm. tracks of the wise. So they just want to draw seven, me not draw seven. I can't really, I mean, I have to kill Tamiyo, but I can't really kill Teferi also, unfortunately. Let me show you what was lost. Stomping time. More data will be needed. All right. So, like, if they if they do both of these, 
It does take up all their mana. And they can put a they'd be able to put a permanent into play. That costs seven or less there. And so like yeah, putting the permanent into play would be how they could maybe not die. If you wish I'm guessing they'll minus you know, look for another tickets. cleansing nova. I'm gonna hope they don't have another cleansing nova. This three man Teferi is really throwing me off. Wish I would have killed it somehow earlier. This game would already been over if I would have just been able to play instant speed with the Champion of Wilds. Sorry, I'm late. Reverse. Okay. The mysteries now we're gonna take it endless. take control here so let's attack there attack there uh, we'll attack there doesn't really matter so basically I, c I can get rid of my arcbow ranger to kill this little teferi I think that's probably worth it. The the thing that that getting rid of the Vivian or getting rid of the Teferi, what it allows me to do is to be able to play instant speed. So if they try to emergency powers during their turn, then I, I get a bunch of creatures. Then I can play those creatures during their turn. Yeah, I, I think this is worth it. With my aim and their claws, you're done. Ugh. What a draw step. What a draw step. Wow. I know my responsibility. But thoughtfulness that was very action. fortunate for them. And I didn't draw a creature. If we drew a cheaper creature. You need to slow down. Nice. Ugh. You can still walk away. This is hardly my worst defeat. Man, that Narset was such a beating. Ugh, why'd they have to top tech Narset there? I was just, you know, basically, you know, that was just not us drawing six cards that we could have drawn there.
sorry I'm late. Just shuffle back their cleansing novas, and obviously they have them now. There goes nothing. And so many little things that they, you know, so many just little things that they would have gone our way would have already won this by now. Meditate. The biggest was that Prepare. top deck Narset. I am not making this up as I go. Nope, I cannot beat the finale of glory. Oh, about Vela Summer. Playing Kral Harpooner because they're a little bit more aggressive. I guess the Paradise Druids don't get bounced, though. By, like, Little Teferi. I guess that's true. All right, another long game here. That was just game one. We're still in it. Just game one. Yeah, the three mana walkers of Narset and Teferi were a great combination. It beat us down pretty bad. But then, yeah, just filled with, you know, their deck filled with Cleansing Novas to cast three Cleansing Novas that game against my Stompy deck. We don't like seeing Cleansing Novas either. We got some, got some rough parts of this matchup for us. Beasts are much more reliable than you. Strike now! Strike hard! The mysteries of life are endless. I am Scala's Vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. My, my, how you've grown. Trust me, you'll thank me later. This might be a bad idea.
tear it down. Tear it all down. You just let me know if you're We're going to tear too. you apart. All right, well, we're in a good spot. Got a lot of things in play. And we can kind of play around Cleansing Nova with the help of Champion of the Wilds. And we have the nice Paradise Druid Champion of the Wilds combo. I'd get out of the way if I were you. For the fallen. Just gonna keep this thing with hex proof. So they have to use sweeper to get rid of it. I think they're playing green for more mana for ramping stuff. No, nah, I don't have any shifting ceratops in here. I've been, I've been definitely happy with Ripjaw Raptor. If, like, Ripjaw Raptor was a lot better against the other green decks I've been playing than Shifting Ceratops would have been. All right, so that worked out perfectly. We had an awesome hand there. They have turn five Wrath and still take Lethal. When they're at 14. Yeah, Champion of the Wilds is really nice. As long as they don't have the little Teferi. That's the thing, like... The little Teferi slow, slowed us down so much the first game. Just so, so much. Because we weren't able to play instant speed game around rats and stuff. <laughs> swamp. Steel Leaf. Whoops. I only have one Swamp in the deck. There's just one of them there. All right, not so bad. You know what? I'm not done yet. Oh, I am going to love tearing this. I'm thinking place they have around. blink of an eye. This will be fun to watch. Yeah, I'm thinking they have Blink. We're sending both creatures at Teferi. No 
no more games. No time for a break. Hopefully we draw some lands. We got plenty of plenty of spells in hand. I'm gonna draw some lands now. Three cards in hand. Of course, I can go Vivian, destroy the binding. Minus other Vivian. Kill to Fairy, but that's all if they have no interaction. Certainly considering ticking up this Vivian and getting it to six so that I could minus five and get Reclamation Sage. Also. I mean, I could have just minus five and got Reclamation Sage, but. Wild animal. <laughs> I've seen worse. Vivian Tribal. We're fit enough to survive. I mean, if they do have emergency powers, this is not a bad play time to use it. You know, I have a lot of cards in hand. The only two that they know about, though, are Growth Chamber Guardians, and putting those back, shuffling those back into my deck isn't amazing with Arcbow Ranger being able to put counters on GCG to be able to get more. Like this. All right, well, we'll just kill Sahili. Um, let's take you up first. You can't stop nature. Mm hmm. So I have five mana. enough to survive I don't know exactly what I'm looking for like I guess duress yeah I forgot we have duress in here we haven't seen a single duress post board but yeah like duress three mana Vivian so yeah duress champion of wilds What do, what do you expect Command the Dread Horde to do? Get all these creatures from the graveyard? I mean, I, I just attacked the Sahili. We could grab that thing, I suppose. So yeah, there's, there's no graveyard right now. Oh, come on. River's Rebuke? Ugh. Looking at seven mana.
train every day. Keep an open mind. Stand by and watch. That's more like it. Oh, what a beating. Oh, that's instinct. What a beating. Set that up really well. Obviously, our one draw step was our last growth chamber guardian. Obviously. I was not prepared for this. Awesome, Hergene. Way to go! Way to go! Way to go! Four zero with the Gruel deck last night at F and M. Congratulations. No, we no. I only have one of one of these Vivians. The only way for me to get rid of this enchantment right now is to draw one of my other two Arcbow Rangers, and tick up the Arcbow Ranger, and then Arcbow Ranger minus five for Reclamation Sage, and then Reclamation Sage the Induced Amnesia. So very, very small chance that we're getting rid of this Induced Amnesia. My prowess is on hone your prowess. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. That was a great draw step. <sighs> not dead yet. Uh, so many things have just gone right for them. I still have much to learn. Let's keep up the pace. We saw one amnesia in the first two games total for enchantments. You know, if we're if we'd be playing a fourth game, obviously we'd have our um we'd have our reclamation sages in our deck, but this is just not we didn't see like these Ixalons bindings and everything like this. The first games. It's certainly the you know, post board game can, can kind of go like this. It's definitely that game one that I really regret us not winning. I mean, we just... We were in great spots to win both those games we lost. 
and our opponents drew an awesome spell both those games right when we were about to win oh well all right so we went three and one let's see what we got we want mythics that's what we're hoping hoping to open up here with the three packs so hopefully we'll get one mythic yeah it's a rare Another rare. And do we get a mythic? No. Well, three packs is one-eighth of a mythic with the wild cards and everything, so not so bad there. All right, so that's Golgari Stompy. Let's get our deck back. Pretty nice one here. I have to say, um, yeah, just nothing, nothing really too fancy here with the deck as we talked about. <clears throat> um, Thorn Lieutenant is like the card that you know. That's the card in the main deck that I'm still not like super sure about, and it was pretty good for us, I think. Yeah, it was pretty good for us. It wasn't it wasn't amazing, but I think it was better than Pelt Collector. Was Thorn Lieutenant better than a Knight of the Ebon Legion would would have been? Probably. Was Thorn Lieutenant better than Midnight Reaper would have been? Maybe not. Maybe I should be playing like one Thorn Lieutenant, one one Midnight Reaper. It's possible. You know, we kind of saw the return of the card advantage control decks. Um, you know, sweepers and stuff like that. It does make me want to get Midnight Reaper into the deck and maybe a second Command the Dread Horde kind of thing. No, no Shifting Ceratops. I like Ripjaw Raptor more. I don't so like five five mana Vivian looked awesome there because we were playing against those control decks. So Vivian Reed looked awesome. But against most of the metagame, Vivian Reed is not very well positioned. Vivian's minus doesn't destroy very many things that, that people are playing. And overall the metagame's pretty fast and Vivian's not. But against the control deck, she's amazing. Galta, on the other hand, just is a card that, whoops. Galta, on the other hand, is the card that just beats mid-range and aggro decks that aren't playing a ton of removal, especially for, like, these things. Galta just comes down and, and kills them. So we kind of have, like, we're kind of hedging. We've got one, one of each, like, one anti-control card, one anti-mid-range uh, and aggro card kind of thing. Because Thrashing Bronzedon costs a lot of mana to destroy an enchantment, and then and and then is also just gone, where Reclamation Sage destroys the enchantment and stays around as a two-one body. Basically, I I have this slot here mostly for Mono White, because I want to be destroying History Banalia's Conclave Tribunals and everything like that. And and in that matchup, the speed of destroying it right, you know, destroying History Banalia right away and having your two-one that can block the knight that that was made by History is much, much more valuable than what Thrashing Brontodon is. Uh, same with, like, Conclave Tribunal and everything. Um, I also like this card. I also like Reclamation Sage more against Nexus, where you get to blow up uh, an Escanta or Reclamation or whatever and still have your 2-1 that gets to attack, and again, blow it up faster. I think people people were playing um, Brontodon for a time because against Mono Red, you'd want Brontodon as a good blocker that could also destroy a frenzy if you need to but that's not what i want the the slot to be doing and i, I don't think a lot of I, I don't think as much people have really switched because i think that mono white and nexus are, are both bigger than mono red right now but at the time like those other decks were kind of dead and mono red was everywhere um yeah find finality was a card that i kind of wanted to put in here but i couldn't really find room 
you know, our command the dread horde is kind of our fine finality. We didn't we didn't do anything with Legion's End that league, but I don't I wouldn't really want to take this out. Like this is just so good against vampires and um, and all the Wild Growth Walker or Hydra Crisis decks, the mana creature decks. Legion's End is very awesome. Also, you know, mono white, mono red. It has a lot of applications. We just weren't playing those matches. Yeah, Feather's a mid-range deck. Okay. Um, so that's Golgari Stompy. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Um, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I would appreciate that. But that's it here for Golgari Stompy in the metagame challenge. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.